USB brakes have been a very important part of our range of products since something like 20 years and uh, have been subject to redesign and further development repeatedly. And the very latest one is uh, what we can see here now with the USB-C 63, which is the uh, top class of thruster operated disc brakes you can find on the market nowadays. This latest now patent applied brake is combining the well-known features as uh, center linings, of course, and uh, Teflon coated bushes, stainless steel pins, stainless tension rods, all the features that are well known and proven in the market in the operation since more than 10 years. The latest development, however, now includes a feature which allows to reduce the weight of the actual brake while still producing the same amount of torque. And this goes along with a reduced thruster size. For the end user, this comes along with a brake which is available in left hand and right hand design, supposed to ease the maintenance of the product. Having the choice between right handed and left handed version, it's easy for the end user to choose to have, for example, the torque scale as well as the manual release handle always in his optimum position. Having the brake installed between gearbox and motor, it's easy to read the torque setting, it's easy to access the manual release lever for opening and closing the brake. Installing two brakes on one disc also makes one orientation of torque scale as well as manual release lever available for both brakes on both sides of one disc. Further features of this USB-C 63 can be seen here on the thruster, which is a analog sensor reading the actual stroke of the thruster. This analog sensor can be used for indication of brake open, as well as brake closed, as well as a warning signal for critical reserve stroke and thus can easily replace in total three individual digital sensors. Another feature which is available now for USB-C 63 is a SMS 1.1. With this box which is independently mounted near the brake we can monitor all the features that are important to know about the performance of your brake. It's monitoring all the sensors, like open, closed, or if replaced by analog sensor, it's telling you exactly the stroke of the actual thruster position. Moreover, there are further options available, such as the temperature switches, monitoring the actual pad temperature. Last not least, the brake is equipped with a load pin. In this case, this is a load pin reading the clamping force, where an optional bi-directional pin is available reading clamping force and braking force, which is a perfect feature for preventive maintenance. All signals from digital and analog sensors are made available in the display of our SMS box. With a clear and easy accessible display, we have indication of brake open, head wear, manual release control, we have temperatures, sensors of indiv or temperature indication for each individual pad, and as another second uh, disc brake can be combined with one SMS box, there is option for indicating the second pair of linings. The clamping force is visual in an indication of kilonewton and uh, finally there is indication of reserve stroke. Operating the brake it will immediately show you there is a 60 millimeter stroke which is equivalent to a 20 milliamp output equivalent to fully released position combined with zero clamping force and the brake control indication saying yes brake is open.
Closing the brake, it will immediately show you the actual clamping force in combination with the reserve stroke. And it's hot here. The key features of the brake, to summarize, are these. Offering the same amount of torque at a lower weight. Makes it more interesting for the OEM because of uh, less mass is moved on the trolley. The same amount of torque or even higher torques are available with smaller thrusters while still having the same capacity in thermal load and braking torque on the same size of disc. For the end user, the key advantages of this latest version of USB product family is the ease of maintenance, the easier accessibility of indicating features such as torque scale, easier access to the manual release, as well as features allowing preventive maintenance, increasing the operational uptime of the equipment.